Police called a burglary spree that crossed multiple states, including here at Kentucky. But investigators say a police chase in Scott County helped them catch two of three suspects. They say the third man, Kareem Brown, is still on the run tonight. Police say he ran off after the chase ended on Interstate 75. Monique Blair is tracking the investigation tonight in our top story at 11. The chase started in Grant County on I-75. The vehicle clocked going 141 miles per hour. Georgetown police say for 20 miles, the driver, 20-year-old Christopher Wooten, drove erratically, at times nearly striking several police cars. Once in Georgetown, officers were able to stop the vehicle, but the three people inside the car jumped out and ran across all lanes of traffic on 75. One passenger, 19-year-old David Scott, was arrested near mile marker 127. The driver was arrested about an hour later. Now Georgetown police are actively looking for the third suspect who was in that car. His name is Kareem Brown, and he was last seen near mile marker 129 off Interstate 75. Police believe the trio of suspects is responsible for several home burglaries in Berea, Richmond, Lexington, Bourbon County, and in Harrison County. I recently just got my conceal and carry, and I did get it because you never know who is out there nowadays. It's uh, scary, and you, I mean, you could walk up to a random person and not know what their background is. They could be the nicest person in the world, and then they you turn up your shoulder and they're threatening you or stealing something from you. For the most part, people who live in this area tell me they are aware that a dangerous man is on the run, and they're being extra cautious. I always keep my eyes open. Uh, you know, you've got to be aware of where you're at and who's around you and your surroundings. In Georgetown, Monique Blair, WKYT. The two suspects arrested last night were wanted out of Ohio for allegedly stealing $10,000 worth of jewelry from a home.